there are not a lot of kids in the world who are growing up in as much luxury and attention as Northwest. Because she was the first kid of the rapper Kanye West and the reality star Kim Kardashian. Already during the pregnancy, she got more attention at that time than most people probably get in her entire lifetime. And while it might look glamorous from the outside, looking at all the luxury she gets, we have seen that North has slowly turned into a very spoiled kid who is acting way out of control. However, if we look at interviews, Kim is often trying to play that down, and she is telling the world that this is just the character of North, and that there is nothing we can do to change this. I don't know about you, but to me this seems more like a try from Kim to not having to deal with this problem. Even though there are more and more people around her that tell her that she needs to take the upbringing of North more seriously. And one of these people, that not only criticized North but also Kim, is no other than her former best friend Paris Hilton. We all know that Kim and Paris have a very similar background. However, they take the parenting topic completely differently, and it seems like Paris Hilton does absolutely not agree with the way Kim is upbringing Kim. As you can imagine, Kim didn't take this very well, and she went absolutely mad. But what exactly happened between them? What did Paris Hilton reveal about North's behavior? And even more importantly, how did Kim Kardashian react? This is exactly what we are going to find out in today's video. So make sure to stick around until the end so you don't miss a single juicy detail. Also, before we dive in, don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you stay up to date with every celebrity drama. As I already said in the intro, when it comes to the Kardashians, they don't live a normal lifestyle. Like, really nothing about their life is comparable to a normal human. I mean, they live in a huge mansion. They have all the cars you can imagine. To get to vacation, they simply hop in their private jets. And on top of all of it, they have cameras and paparazzi following them everywhere. And when it comes to North, she is probably the most famous of the Kardashian kids, and therefore she's getting the most attention by the media. Therefore, she has never learned what it means to not get what you want. And you can clearly see this in her behavior. I also already said in the intro, North is not the little angel her mother tries to portray her as in the media. And according to people who deal with her very often, which includes nannies, chefs, the security teams, family members, and even her own dad, Kanye West. They say that North is incredibly spoiled and acts rude towards people she sees as below her. If you are interested what Kanye had to say about his own daughter, don't worry. We are going to cover that in just a minute. But Kanye isn't the only family member that is sick of North's behavior, and Kylie Jenner said in an interview, every single person who knows her is tired of her attitude. And this also shows in multiple situations where she simply does what she wants, regardless of how she feels. For example, there was one time where North didn't want Kim to take pictures of her, and she yelled at Kim to stop taking pictures. And this wasn't the only time she messed with Kim. In fact, North is known for kind of bullying Kim and always trying to make her look bad. Kim even admitted this in one interview, and she told that her kids are constantly making fun of her. But instead of saying it in a serious way, she tried to laugh the situation off. To give you just a few examples what North said to Kim, the first one is telling her that her house is ugly and that she has no taste for architecture. Kim admitted this on the Ellen DeGeneres show, and she said, your house is so ugly, it's all white, who lives like this? Another time was when Kim tried to make an Instagram story to promote makeup and North would constantly scream from the back and asked her mother why she doesn't speak with her real voice, where Kim responded that this is her real voice and that she is trying to make an advertisement for the product. Another example is when Kim was live on Instagram and she gave a shout out to a popular song. I don't know if this was a paid ad by the actor or if Kim did this because they are friends. She told her audience that she absolutely loves this song and listens to it a lot. However, North started screaming from the background that she barely listens to the song. Or another example was when Kim was trying on a new dress for Met Gala. For whatever reason, Kim decided to take North with her, and North was quick to criticize everything about the dress. However, it wasn't just Kim she was criticizing. It was also the designer that was standing right next to Kim. To be exact, she said, It looks cheap, and the pearls, they seem fake. Then she kept going and said, There's way too much gaps in the pearls. It looks like she's a Hawaiian girl with her dress all ripped. Now some might argue that this is just a kid being honest and that this is normal behavior for kids. However, as the years went on, North's behavior didn't get any better. In fact, it just got worse and worse. For example, there was one time when she was at the birthday party of another kid, but instead of giving all the attention to another kid, she decided to get in the spotlight and she stole the other girl's shine by blowing off all of the candles on her birthday cake. As you can imagine, the other kid didn't take it very well and to what is known on the internet, North didn't even apologize for that. It now went to the point where even her dad, Kanye West, said something about the behavior of his daughter and his kids in general. He believes that his ex-wife and their mother, Kim Kardashian, is spoiling her children way too much. 
One such example would be that Kim is spending up to $100,000 per month for the nannies of their kids, and he not only thinks that the kids are not spending enough time with their real family, but also that the workload of the nannies is way too much. Sources have revealed that Kim's nannies are working very long hours. To be exact, that would be 14 to 16 hour days. In his song, Easy, Kanye had the lyrics. I got love for the nannies, but real family is better. The cameras watch the kids, y'all stop taking the credit. When you give them everything, they only want more. Bougie and unruly, you all need to do some chores. Rich ass kids, this ain't your mama house. Climb on your brother's shoulders, get that top ramen out. Basically, Kanye is referring that their kids never had to work for the level of fame and money they have, and that they don't even know the value of it. See, Kanye came from a relatively simple household and therefore he had to work his way up. Therefore, he thinks that this is the best way to grow up. And while he knows that he can't give his kids the same childhood he had, he tried to make it as normal as possible, while Kim on the other side doesn't do anything and only makes things even worse. Now looking back at North's behavior, and Kim. Kim is definitely aware of the fact that North is rude and outspoken, but she chooses to do nothing against it. Or at least, she isn't able to do something against it. To me personally, it looks like Kim is more off a friend than a mother to the kids, and therefore she has no power over them and fans have a very similar opinion on it. For example, one fan wrote, it's so clear that North is living every kid's dream with all the luxury around her, but it's a bit worrying, isn't it? Kim seems too caught up in her own world to deal with North's spoiled behavior. I just hope amidst all the glitz, they don't forget to instill some good old values in her. Or another one that wrote, honestly, watching North grow up in such a lifestyle makes me wonder about the kind of values she is picking up. Money can buy them designer clothes, but can it buy respect and discipline? Or the last one that wrote, Every time I see North with another over-the-top gift or at another exclusive event, I can't help but feel it's too much for a child her age. And where's Kim in all this? Always somewhere else, busy with her own life. It's sad because at the end of the day, no amount of nannies or staff can replace parental guidance. And this is exactly where Paris Hilton's criticism comes in. As I already said in the intro, even though Kim and Paris have a very similar background with wealthy parents and a comparable level of fame and money, their approach to parenting is completely different. While Kim is not only spoiling her kids with all the things they can imagine, she also tries to hide the fact that her kids are basically being raised by nannies. While you see a nanny every now and then in shows, there was an insider to the Kardashians that told the media that the majority of the nannies have to hide when they are filming the show. So people never get to see the full scale, and even more importantly, that Kim can reap all of the rewards for the parenting. Paris, on the other side, not only tries to always be there for their kids, at least as much as she can, but she also gives credit where credit is due. She said multiple times that without her nannies, she would be completely screwed. Now on the Kardashians' lavish Christmas party, Paris took a video together with North which looked extremely weird. However, in that video, she was pretty nice to North, and she told her that she only wished her all the best for the future, and also before that, she never lost a bad word about North. However, after that, apparently, an insider has leaked that Paris has a totally different opinion of North, at least when the cameras are off, and that she believes that Kim is spoiling her kids way too much, and this goes up to the point where Paris believes that North will get in bigger and bigger trouble. The older she gets. First of all, I personally don't understand why Paris is acting nice in front of Kim and the entire Kardashian family, but then behind their back, she goes and trashes North's behavior. But besides that, I definitely share the concerns she has about North, especially looking at the next few years because I believe in her late teenage years, she will be heavily out of control, and Kim won't be able to do anything against it because her kids only see her as a friend and not as a parent. And this is exactly what fans believe. For example, one of them wrote, Paris is spot on with her observations. It's no secret that the Kardashian kids live a life of luxury, but at what cost? Kim's constant need to appear as the perfect mother is overshadowing the real issue here. The kids are growing up in a bubble of wealth and entitlement without the necessary parental guidance. Or another one that wrote, Kim seems to be living in a different reality, one where she wants everyone to believe she's super mom. But we all know it's the nannies doing the heavy lifting. It's not a crime to have help, especially with their busy lives, but why hide it? But I'm super interested in hearing your opinion on this entire topic. Do you think that Paris is right and that North is going to get in a lot of trouble? Or do you think that she just has that attitude from her dad? And therefore what she is doing is absolutely okay. And this is just the way she is. Let me know down in the comments. And also don't forget, so subscribe to my channel if you never want to miss another celebrity drama. Okay. With that being said, thanks for watching and until next time.